Following breaking news from overseas this morning, see the video at least nine people dead after this massive earthquake in Taiwan. This footage shows just what it looked like inside a news studio there. You can see the lights shaking, things falling on the ground. The epicenter of the quake hit near the city of Walin. That's about six hours away from Taiwan. Recovery efforts are underway right now for anyone who still may be trapped under the rubble. Cleo Green joins us from the Breaking News Center with the very latest from overnight. And Cleo, officials say this is the strongest earthquake they've seen in two years. Yeah, in fact, this is Taiwan's biggest earthquake in the past two decades here. So this is a huge deal. We reached out to the Taiwanese government and they did give us the latest numbers here. Here's what we know this morning. They say at least nine people were killed, more than 800 injured in crews. They are working to rescue more than 100 people who are trapped right now. So this happened during the early morning rush hour. So many people were out and about and heading to work when they experienced some violent shaking. Take a listen to a local reporter at that Taiwanese uh, news station that you just showed. I was in the office at that time and people were holding on to the doors because everything was falling off and we wanted to get to the doorways in, in case every, so, something collapsed. Now, we've been collecting video from overnight. The U.S. Geological Survey clocked this earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 7.4, followed by a 6.5 aftershock. Now, it triggered a tsunami warning in nearby Japan, but it was later lifted. At least three hikers were killed in a landslide. That quake triggered several in the mountains, where the population, of course, is sparse, but near the epicenter of that quake. Now, once again, search and rescue efforts are happening at this hour and we'll have an update coming for you at about six o'clock. I'll send it back to you.